Hello! Welcome to today's two minute tasting. We are doing this today. This is Confessions of a White Glove Chaser 2015. Tell them about Blank Bottle. Do you know anything about Blank Bottle? I certainly don't. Good! Neither do I. No. Um, uh, Peter Valsa is the chap who makes these um, and he deliberately doesn't put any information on the back label but there is a Mysterious. QR code which if we can get that in focus you might be able to scan and see what it is but basically it's it's cab so um, some Cinso. some Cinso, some Malbec and some cab franc I think last time I tried this wine I don't know if it was this vintage I was in um, Bristol at a wedding and I was sharing a hotel room with George Flickinger <laughs> and we were drinking it out of hotel mugs. It says a lot about a night out in Bristol, really. <laughs> Bristol's lovely. I've been out on nights out in Bristol. It is lovely. Have you ever been to Bristol? I'm not. Not no, yet. Not yet. Yep. Go there. Take a bottle of that and a mug. So, the wine. What do you get? Um, it smells quite bright and fruity. Yep. Um, but I get Some, a, slight, a slight undertone of kind of dark chocolate. I'm getting a sort of bakewell tart, sort of almonds and mm. cherries off that. That's bitter. Yeah, yeah. Lots of licorice, some sort of dark cocoa powder. Mm. It's um, still surprisingly light for how mm. uh, for how dark and how intense the flavors are. It's... Do you think he's going sort of for a barolo -y sort of you know how you've got that really dark element, but you also have that graceful element and that well, yeah, but freshness it, 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 from it a Barolo. It definitely doesn't have the tannins of a Barolo. No, it's, no, but, no. But they're, they're there, but they're I, not... I see what yeah. you mean on, on that, yeah, that kind of interplay between the body and yeah. the, the palate. Yeah, because it's, as you say, it's not huge. It's, yeah. it's, it is quite light and it's quite fresh and it's approachable, but it's got this really core of dark, sort of intense flavor. Dark everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like it. It's very mm. nice. That's very drinkable. That's a very nice wine. Um, funky packaging. Um, no punt in the bottom, so for all of you that think that the punt <laughs> means quality, it doesn't. Um, we like this. 92 points yeah, for me. I'll give it a 92. Yeah, we'll go with that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as you can see, we have someone in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, Bye. <laughs>